Okay, this is me trying to do a 180 in the one wheel. Start the block. I've been living in the United States for the last seven years of my life, and the time here has been awesome. I found an amazing girlfriend, a great dog, and now we have a nice house. As most things in life, I have to give up with something. There is some stuff that I have to give up in order to have what I have today. Like for example, one of the things that I've been missing is spending time with my family. Today is my mom's birthday. And for the last seven years, we haven't been able to share my birthday or her birthday. Now, the reason why I'm not able to see my mom in like these last few seven years for our birthdays is because she doesn't live here in the United States. She lives back in Venezuela with the rest of all my family. All right, so I don't know how much you follow the news about Venezuela lately, but the thing is, like, Venezuela is no bueno state right now. It's like... <laughs> Things are, like, really bad over there. Every time that I talk with my mom, she's been saying to me that there's some a new item that went missing, or that there's some protests or like your basic products are like really, really hard to find. So when I was talking with her, she was telling me like, oh, Louis, it's been so long since I've been trying this or been trying that. So that gave me the idea that, well, first of all, it made me realize like how for granted I give some stuff like basic food that I eat here every day for her is like really right now it's like really hard to find and for her birthday uh, I'm planning is just to send her like a package everybody me my brother Leslie and everybody is kind of like adding something to build like a huge care package that we're gonna send to Venezuela so mom you're gonna be receiving something so pretty much everything has been sorted out. We have everything that we were gonna send. There's just one last item that I'm missing that I know she wanted for sure. So let's go. All of this is dog food, I need treats. So with this, that makes the last item from the care package we're sending. Uh, I don't know, whenever I talk with her, she asked me like, Louis, please send me some greenies for my girls. Aww. Yeah, Chelsea and Mara, you're gonna receive something pretty special on the mail. Let's go back to the house. All right, we're back in the house. Now, there is just one last thing in order to send that package back to Venezuela. I don't have a big box. <laughs> so, I have a bunch of stuff that I need to send. I just need a bigger box. So, let me explain you what is going on. What's up? Here is the first issue. This is all the things that we're going to send to Venezuela. And we got to find a way to fit all of those in that box. I don't think that's gonna hold it. He doesn't think he's gonna hold it. Do you bring a box? No. A few minutes later. All right, so problem solved. Uh, we found this small box. I think that, should, that thing should hold it. So, I mean, let's just build it up and see if we can fit all of that there.
Ok, bueno mamá, que pases un feliz cumpleaños, que la disfrutes bastante, nos haces mucha falta y ya pronto nos vamos a ver. Chao.